Hello, I'm Robert Ditto from the Central Valley Water Board's Irrigated Lands Regulatory Program. This presentation will describe the new drinking water well monitoring requirement, which requires coalition members to sample their on-farm drinking water wells for nitrate. This is the monitoring schedule for the drinking water well monitoring program in the Central Valley region. We developed the schedule based on groundwater areas that have been identified as heavily impacted by nitrate. It started in 2019 with the East San Joaquin area, shown in purple on the map. It moved into the Tulare Lake Basin in 2020, identified in blue on the map. In 2021, the West Side San Joaquin, identified by the number five, the San Joaquin and Delta, denoted by number three, and the grassland drainage area identified by number six on the map. In 2022, we brought on the last remaining coalitions, the Sacramento Valley Coalition and the Rice Commission shown on the northern parts of the map as number one and two, and the Western Tulare Lake Basin area shown as number seven on the map. During the first year of implementation, members will receive an outreach package by mail. The package will include a quick reference guide for members, a drinking water well member information form, the notification template, and an informational trifold. After the first year, the Central Valley Water Board will send out a reminder to sample postcard for the second and third year of sampling. We recommend using the same laboratory. If for some reason you are unable to use the same laboratory, please contact the Central Valley Water Board for assistance. We have updated our website with a new drinking water well monitoring webpage, information on the drinking water sample requirements, ELAP laboratories, available forms, and frequently asked questions can be found here. So what well do you need to sample? The requirement is to sample your active drinking water well, meaning the well water is used for cooking and drinking. The drinking water well must be located on the parcel that is enrolled with the coalition and part of the irrigated lands regulatory program. This is not a requirement for your agricultural well. What are the sampling requirements? Members are required to sample their drinking water wells annually. Sample results must be reported as nitrate plus nitrite as nitrogen. Sample testing must be performed by an ELAP laboratory certified for testing nitrate. And up to five years of past data can be used, but it needs to follow the new program requirements. This is the drinking water well member information form that you will use for the first year of sampling. You're required to submit this form with your sample to the lab. The laboratories will use this form to create an account in GeoTracker, the state's groundwater database. The form asks for member information, a question to determine if the member or family is the only user, landowner information, and the drinking water well information. If you or your family are the only users, it is important to answer yes on question 1J on the form. This will satisfy the notification requirement if your sample result exceeds the drinking water standard of 10 milligrams per liter nitrate plus nitrite as nitrogen. Here's a list of ELAP laboratories that are certified for testing nitrate and drinking water. This information is on our website and will be included in the initial outreach package. There is an exemption from sampling if the drinking water well is not used for human consumption, meaning it is not used for cooking or drinking. The members must keep records such as photo documentation or bottled water receipts, establishing that the well is not used for drinking water. So based on your sample results, if your result is less than 10 milligrams per liter, 
you're going to sample again next year. If your result exceeds 10 milligrams per liter of the drinking water standard, there is a notification requirement, but no further sampling is required. This is the notification template used to notify the users of the sample results and the potential health risks associated with drinking the water. You will use this template when results exceed the drinking water standard of 10 milligrams per liter. You are required to immediately notify the users using the notification template and send in a signed copy to the Central Valley Water Board. You can send it via email, take a photo of it with your phone, or send us a hard copy. Remember, if you or your immediate family are the only users, you can fulfill the notification requirements by answering yes on question 1J on the Drinking Water Well member information form and are not required to send in this notification template. Most of our outreach materials have been translated into Spanish, Punjabi, and Hmong. These documents can be found on our webpage or available upon request. When an exceedance is identified in GeoTracker and Water Board staff have not received a notification from a member, staff will follow up with a notification request. This is usually in the form of an email, a phone call, or a letter. If the member does not respond to the notification request, a notice of violation is sent. So how is your information used? GeoTracker is the state's groundwater database. As I mentioned earlier, ELAP certified laboratories will enter your well data from the drinking water well member information form into GeoTracker. The well information includes an APN or latitude and longitude for the location of your well. GeoTracker can display this information in a public map. When you click on a well location, the test result and sample date are displayed. As you can see, none of your personal information is shown. Steps for success. Step one, you're gonna contact an ELAP laboratory. You can obtain sample bottles, learn about hold times and sampling procedures. Step two, You'll collect your sample using proper sampling procedures between January 1st and December 31st. There are third-party consultants or some laboratories that can assist with sampling. Step three, during your first year, you're going to fill out the drinking water well member information form. You'll submit the form with your sample to the lab and the chain of custody, which is provided by the laboratory. Step four, the laboratory will create an account in GeoTracker, the state's groundwater database. Each well entered into GeoTracker will have its own global ID number. For the second year, you'll use your global ID number when you submit your sample to the lab. Step five, based on the results, if the result is less than 10 milligrams per liter, you'll continue to sample annually. If the result is greater than 10 milligrams per liter, which exceeds the drinking water standard, there is a notification requirement, but no further sampling is required. I'll now go over some frequently asked questions. What if I lease the land and have no control over the well? The member's responsibility is to notify the landowner of their requirements to monitor the well. What if I'm the only user and my sample result exceeds the drinking water standard? If you mark yes on question 1J in the drinking water member information form, that fulfills your notification requirement. What if my well is not used for drinking or cooking? Contact the Central Valley Water Board so we can update our records. No sampling is required. Do I need to sample my well if I'm using a filter? Yes, sample prior to the filter as close to the wellhead as possible. What if I do not have a well? Contact Central Valley Water Board so we can take you off our outreach list. What well do I sample? 
The drinking water well must be located in the parcel that is enrolled in the coalition and being used for human consumption. What if I don't sample my active drinking water well? Water board staff will follow up using our progressive enforcement tools. This usually starts with a phone call, email, or letter, followed by a notice of violation. If still no response, there is a potential for an administrative civil liability or monetary fine to be issued. Do I need to supply replacement water if my sample result exceeds the drinking water standard of 10 milligrams per liter? There is an expectation that you will, will be providing clean drinking water to the users. How long do I have to sample for? So after three years of consecutive samples, if all results are less than eight milligrams per liter, sampling is reduced to once every five years moving forward. If any results are between eight and 10 milligrams per liter, you'll continue to sample annually until you meet the three consecutive years of under eight. Or if any point your sample result exceeds 10 milligrams per liter, there is a notification requirement, but no further sampling is required. If you still have questions, please contact us. Here is the contact information for the Central Valley Water Board staff in your coalition areas. We also have a general program email and phone number available. Thank you for your time today.